What's up YouTube, I'm EVscape and welcome back to another video. Today is day number 24 in the 50 day video challenge. Tomorrow we're going to be halfway through. We're pumping on, we're kicking on. I'm having a great time. I hope you guys are enjoying the videos so far. Today I'm going over the easiest way to get rid of the trade cap on your account when you start a new one. This is a super annoying thing and I'm going to show you guys how to get rid of it in about 20 minutes. Super easy stuff. Let's stop messing around. Let's jump into the clips. I hope you guys enjoy. All right, guys. So today we're going to be going over the quickest way to get rid of the cap on your account that doesn't allow you to trade certain items within 18 hours of its creation. We're a fresh account, 63 warm 1088. That They just suggested that name to me. Uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is straight off Tutorial Island, head over to the Lumbridge Cow Field. Once you're at the cow field, just simply milk this dairy cow. Once you have the milk, you just want to head a little bit northeast. And you'll be in this chicken pen. Inside this chicken pen, you're going to find eggs around. There's an egg on the top left corner here and an egg in the middle here. Just grab either one of these. Once you are done in here, then you're going to want to head back across the bridge. Once you're across the bridge, head to the general store just down here and you're going to want to trade the shopkeeper and sell any item that isn't the bucket of milk, the pot of flour or the egg. Any item does not matter. You're going to need to get one GP and trade that in for some shears. Once you bought the shears, drop the rest of your items. And then you're going to want to shear 20 sheep. Once you've shorn 20 sheep, you'll have 20 pieces of wool in your inventory. You then want to head a little bit north up to the grain field and pick yourself some wheat. Once you've got yourself some wheat, you're going to head upstairs of the mill. All the way up to the top, you then want to put your wheat in the hopper. Operate the hopper controls. Then head back down the ladder, all the way down to the bottom. And fill up your pot with the flour from the flour bin. Now you're going to want to head to Varrock, but you're going to want to go via the east side of Varrock specifically west of the Varrock Mine. Now just west of the Varrock East Mine, you're going to see these cadaver bushes and you're going to want to pick yourself one lot of cadaver berries. Then head to the center of Varrock. Once you are in Varrock Center, you need to locate Romeo. He won't always be in the center. Sometimes he's in the general store. Speak to him so you can start the Romeo and Juliet quest. Just speak to him. Use the first option for the first bit of chat dialogue. Then use the first option again. 
then okay thanks then you're going to need to speak to Juliet who can be found in the house west of Barrel West Bank Once you're in the house, west of Varrock West Bank, just head up the stairs and then south and then you'll see Juliet standing out on the balcony. Speak to her. And then she'll give you a message. You need to head back to the Varrock Center now and speak to Jeremy to speak to Romeo and give him the letter. Once here, speak to him again. Go through all of the chat dialogue. Romeo will go on and on and on, talking absolute bollocks. Just keep spamming through. Then he'll tell you you need to go speak to Father Lawrence. Select OK, thanks. Then you want to head northeast of the Varrock Center to the chapel where you'll find Father Lawrence. Once inside the chapel, speak to Father Lawrence. Spam through the chat options. Then he tells you you need to go make a potion, so you need to head to the apothecary, which is found west of Varrock Center. Speak to the apothecary. Select the third option, talk about something else, then select the first option, Romeo and Juliet. He'll tell you you need some cadaver berries, you already have some, and he'll whip you up a cadaver potion. You then need to go back and speak to Juliet. Speak to Juliet, go through the chat options, just spam through them. You don't have to select anything here. It'll jump into a cutscene. Now you'll have to go back to the center of Varrock to tell Romeo that of the plan that Juliet has uh, faked her death. Talk to Romeo. You'll enter a cutscene. Just keep spamming through the chat options. And you finish the quest. You then want to go into your uh, magic book, use the home teleport to Lumbridge. Head inside the castle and go and speak to the cook. Speaking to the cook, we'll start the cook's assistant quest. Ask him what's wrong, option one. Then say, I'm always happy to help a cook in distress. Say four, I actually know where to find this stuff. Speak to the cook again. You have all the stuff and cook's assistant is done. You then want to head up the stairs of the Varrock Castle. Sorry, the Lumbridge Castle. Spin on the spinning wheel and you want to make yourself 20 balls of wool. Once you have your 20 balls of wool, just head down the stairs. Then you want to head back up to the sheep field. Mm -hmm. 
Now you want to head to the top of the sheep pen, jump over the stile. Head over and speak to Farmer Fred. Select option one, I'm looking for a quest. Select option one, yes, okay, I can do that. Of course. I'm something of an expert, actually. And speak to him again, straight away. And there you go, you have completed the Sheep Shearer quest. You now have seven quest points and your ban is lifted. You can now trade things on the Grand Exchange and to other players. That's gonna wrap up today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If it was helpful, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, make sure you click that subscribe button. Thank you guys very much for watching today's video. I will catch you in the next one tomorrow. Take it easy.